Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for joining me. In this session, we're going to focus on exercises to help keep our focus on keeping our spine very still. I'm using a small little pillow that's uh, adjustable so it, it is able to be smushed and hold its position. If you don't have something like that, you can use a small rolled up towel like a bath towel. I have a smaller towel here like a hand towel, a yoga block or a soft foam something, and a strap. My strap is a yoga strap, so there's no stretch to it, but all you have is a strap that stretches, that's totally fine. We're going to start laying on our back. And because our focus here is on keeping our spine still, we're going to use a small towel behind our lower back. Start laying on your back gently. Getting down as best suits you. I'm using a pillow here just to support my head, only so far as to keep me comfortable. You don't want your head to be so far forward that it feels unnatural or comfortable, uncomfortable for you. Just enough support to feel comfortable. In fact, if the pillow is too much, you can use a small little towel back there just to give you some sense of support. All right? So find what works best for you. Now I am going to take this small little towel and it's folded up. That towel, I'm going to take it behind uh, my waist between the bottom of your ribs and the top of your pelvis or hips. That's where your lower back is and the towel is just back there to give you some tactile feedback about where your lower back is and is not. So just with your knees bent, laying on your back, tailbone on the floor, body resting, arms by your side. Just feel where the towel makes contact with your body. Now keeping your hips on the floor, tailbone on the floor, you're gonna put a little more pressure of your body against the towel and you'll feel that difference and then release that. And then do the opposite, keeping your back of your hips tailbone on the floor, put less pressure on the towel there, creating some space between you yourself and the towel more, and then release that to the center, right? And again, put more pressure on the towel so you make more contact with the towel behind you, keeping the back of your hips on the floor, breathing, then release that, relax. Then keeping the back of the hips tailbone on the floor, create less pressure on the towel. So you're arching your lower back, not putting any pressure on the towel, not increasing pressure of the towel, trying to decrease pressure. Sorry, the words were hard there. And then release, try it again. From your relaxed position, increase pressure to the towel, keeping the back of your hips on the floor, try not to use your legs there. Then release that. Then do the opposite, decrease your contact or pressure with the towel behind you, relaxing your shoulders, you got it. And then release that and just feel what that centered place is. That's helpful to know where your resting place is versus where you're putting pressure on or less pressure off of the towel. The, I, the goal here with laying on your back is to keep the same amount of pressure of your lower back against the towel, right? So neither increasing or decreasing pressure. That's just why the towel is back there, to give you tactile awareness. Because if you want to keep your spine still, your lower back, where your waist is, is part of your spine. You want to focus on keeping it still. Now, I'm taking a strap here. It doesn't matter if it's a stretch strap or not, around the middle of my foot. And the strap comes from my foot to my finger, pinky fingers exiting through my thumb. And I'm going to bend my elbows to the floor. Now, if you'll feel as if that leg goes really high towards you, that's going to increase pressure of your lower back against the towel. That means that leg can't be that high for you. Lower that leg away from you until you feel that place where your lower back is in its resting position. Conversely, you may feel that leg goes too low, you'll decrease pressure of your lower back against the towel. That's not ideal either, right? You want to keep the same amount of pressure to the towel no matter where the leg is, right? So find that place that works for you. Easy breathe, right? Relaxing your shoulders. Now all you're going to do here, you're going to keep the elbows softly bent, make little circles in the air with that leg, and my elbows are going to have to uh, move a bit, my arms are moving a bit, breathe deeply. But what's not moving is A, my lower back, B, my hips side to side, nine. Relax your throat and shoulders, inhale, exhale freely, eight. Do try and make that knee, seven, gently as straight as you can, comfortably. Breathe deeply, six. Your leg may not be as high as the leg I'm showing you here, Five, it doesn't have to be high to be successful. Breathe deeply, four. In this exercise, we're focusing on strengthening the front of our hip and thigh and stretching the back of the hip and thigh, right? So it's doing a lot of things. It's also neuromuscular control. And then reverse that, breathing, inhale, exhale. My elbows are not staying on the floor. It's hard to, to not let the straps slide in my hands and keep my elbows on the floor would be impossible. So my arms are moving here. Breathe deeply, A. Be conscious, think about how your lower back feels in relationship to where the towel is, seven. Are you able to keep the same amount of pressure without increasing or decreasing it? Six. And it can be hard to assess. Five. And it does take some practice to get used to that as a mindset. Four. Keeping your tailbone resting on the floor. I'm not jamming my tailbone into the floor. It's just resting. Three. 
You're doing really well here. Breathe deeply. Two. One more time. Easy breathe. One. You did really well. And then bend that leg in and switch sides. Now the other knee is bent foot down. Now this is a new leg. This leg may not be as high as the other leg was, right? When it goes to a height, you may feel that your lower back creates more pressure on the towel here. That may mean that this leg has to be lower than the other leg, but again, not so low that you decrease pressure to the towel, right? So find that position that works for you where your tailbone is resting on the floor, not jamming into it. Arms are relaxed and bent by your side, shoulders are relaxed, right? Knee is really straight. And same thing here, make half a circle. Inhale, complete the circle. 10, easy. It's gonna feel different on this leg. Nine, no one's legs are symmetrical. Inhale, exhale, eight. And my circle is very small. If the circle is bigger, it tends to rock your hips side to side. Seven, that's not the goal because it's not keeping your spine still. Your pelvis is part of your spine. Six, we're trying to keep your pelvis and lower back and the rest of your spine. Five, as still as we can, comfortably. Breathe deeply. Four, focus on making that knee nice and straight. Three, breathing, have a nice calm thoughts, happy thoughts. Two, easy, inhale, exhale. Now let's reverse that circle. It's a lot of grip strength in your hands and you're welcome. Inhale, exhale, 10. Take a break if it's too much in your hands. Breathe deeply. Nine, something with handles might be more comfortable for you. A, if using the yoga strap is too hard in your grip, breathe deeply. Seven, again, it's only large enough so your body stays still. Six, it's not about how big the circle can be. It's can your pelvis and lower back stay still with a straight knee five and the thigh bone circling. Breathe deeply, four, you're doing really well here. Control, easy, gently. Three, nice, everyone, head resting. Breathe deeply, two, relaxing your shoulders. Nice work there, easy, breathe. One, you did so well, really good job, bend it in. We're gonna switch legs again here. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to take the strap on the same side hand as that leg, all right? And again, the leg can't be so high that I'm increasing pressure to the top behind with my lower back, and it can't be so low that I'm decreasing pressure, right? Find that sweet spot for yourself. Now, that straight leg goes out to the side, but only as far as the hips don't twist. So the back of your hips, the back of your bum stays even on the floor and then return. Now, as that leg goes out to the side, you're gonna feel more weight to the same side back of the hip as the leg that's in the air. That's normal, what's not happening is the hips aren't twisting with the leg and then return. So even though I feel a shift of weight to the back of my hips, my pelvis is not rotating with that leg length change or the lever length change or the weight change, however you wanna talk about it. Again, it's just a gentle stretch for your inner thigh, relaxing your shoulders, breathe deeply, three, Good, everyone. Mm -hmm. And then return. Easy. Again, keep the back of the hips on the floor the whole time. Even though you'll have one hip has more weight than the other, that's natural too. Because again, it's one leg here moving out to the side. It's going to create a lot more weight to that same side of your body. Easy. Head resting. Easy. Breathe gently. And you got it, everyone. Nice work there. Uh huh. And then return. Then let's switch sides. Mm hmm. Find the position that works for you. Again, not so high that you increase pressure, not so low that you decrease pressure to the towel behind you and find your sweet spot. And again, you can try taking your hand to your pelvis, to your hip bone in the front of it to help give some tactile feedback there to the front of your hips so that you don't want those hips to twist with the leg, right? So you want to keep the back of both butt cheeks on the floor, even though the same side butt cheek as that leg going out to the side will have more weight to it. That pelvis isn't rotating in response to that increased weight load on that side and then return easy. Again, gentle, relaxing your shoulders, tailbone resting on the floor. This other knee conversely isn't falling open to to the side either as a counterbalance. This leg stays very still. Yes, there's a lot of things going on, but these are your joints and it's your body. Breathe deeply too, and that's what exercise is, focusing on your joints and moving your body. All of your joints are under your control. It may seem impossible, but it just takes practice. And over time, you'll feel how this awareness becomes more second nature. Yeah, take it off, and that was really, really great. All right, now I'm gonna change positions here. Now, I'm gonna be laying on my side. So I'm going to use this pillow here under my ribs. And that's just to help me stay even with my ribs side to side so that I don't bend one way or the other as I'm laying on the floor. It's not perfect, right? It's not gonna be uh, scientifically symmetrical. It just helps you give you some natural support. That also makes it easier on your neck and shoulder to support. Now I'm using a height of block here that when I lay down, my head doesn't feel like it's up one way too much or the other, right? Now, if you're laying here and your head feels centered but it's not comfortable, then you may have to put a little towel there, right? To either make it higher, if you need more comfort, or you can make the block lower with that towel if that feels better for you, right? Because it's not just about alignment, you have to be also comfortable in that alignment, right? We all there? Great. Now, this bottom knee is bent forward. My top leg is straight and long. The top hand could be on the floor to make it easier, 
or on you to make the bounce more intense. To make it harder still, you'd have two legs straight together. Just make sure this t leg that is straight, if both legs are straight, are in line. Ankle, knee, hip, rib, shoulder, ear, and one long line from an aerial view from top down, right? Eyes, shoulders, chest, hips, and knee is facing forward. The top leg lifts, keeping your body very still, and then lowers. Easy breathe, gentle. Again, top straight knee lifts and lowers kindly. Nine, head resting, good everyone, easy. Lift and lower, eight. And I forgot to mention today, we're focusing mostly on moving the lower extremities, seven. Easy, it's not because it's better, it's just six for beginners. People have an easier time focusing on lower extremity, five versus upper and lower together. Breathe deeply, take your time. Straighten that knee, four, keep it facing forward. When you lift that leg up, that knee is gonna wanna rotate, all right? Try not to, it's not wrong, it's a different exercise. When that knee rotates, your hips also tend to twist back as, as well too. Again, trying to keep your hips still. Maybe taking your top hand here to the top side of your hip, well, give some tactile feedback there. Round two, same thing, head resting. Try not to bear your head down on the block when the leg lifts either, eyes and chest facing forward. Use the block like a pillow, let your head rest. Nine, don't bear weight down at nine. Take your time, easy. Again, float gently up in the air, eight, just up and down. If the leg goes really high, again, you may want to rotate that thigh to get it there. That's not the goal, different exercise. We're focused on keeping that knee facing forward, seven, and keeping the body very still. Easy breathe, gentle breathing, six, inhale, exhale freely, take your time. Lift and lower kindly, head resting, five, nice, everyone, control. Easy, gently lift and lower, four, straight knee facing forward the whole day. Again, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, three, or just breathe. If I'm saying inhale and, and you're exhaling, who cares, two, as long as you are breathing and not holding on to your breath. We have one more round to go, take a break, so you can always hit press pause, lift and lower, breathing, ten. It's just three rounds of ten. Nine, easy breathe, take your time. You can feel how this is a strengthening feeling. Eight, the, top, the side of your hip here is shortening to lift and lengthening to lower, seven, that's the goal. Lifting and lower kindly, breathe deeply. Six, good everyone, take your time. Lift gently, head resting, eyes and chest facing forward, lower, five, control. Lift easy and lower, four, good everyone. Three more here, head resting, eyes and chest facing forward, three. Take a break as you need to, no big deal, lift and lower to, oh, it feels so nourishing. Yes, that's what this is, nourishing. That was so well done. Now, if your bottom leg is not already straight, you're gonna make it straight, and you put your top foot on the floor in front of you. When the top foot is forward, it can be anywhere on the floor that works for you, so long as your hips feel like they're facing forward directly. So if this leg is too, foot is too close to me, my hips have to rotate, the top hip has to rotate back here to bring that foot that close to me. That means my spine is twisting, that's not the goal. The goal, again, is keeping your spine very still so your hips, chest, and shoulders are facing directly forward in front of you where your eyes are looking, right? That foot may have to be weighed down by your ankle, totally orthodox, to get those hips to be nice and whatever feels square to you to the front wall. All right, here we go. Bottom leg straight, knee lifts, oh, and lower. Take your time. Again, try not to push your head down the block when you lift that straight knee up, nine. Take a break. Here's where this towel or pillow under your ribs, eight, really helps gain stability. Seven, you can perhaps feel how you put a little more pressure on this support. Six, as this legs lift, that's natural. Your body is trying to move from your waist to lift the leg five, but that's not what you want. You wanna keep your pelvis still, spine still, and just the leg only. Five, that's the goal, breathe deeply. It's challenging, four. Again, you can always have your hand three on the side of your hip here to give some tactile feedback. You may find that over time you slowly twist. That's natural. Try and keep a focus. Easy two. You got a head resting. And that's probably like 13 already. But here we go. Round two. My counting's not the best. I apologize. Ten. I think it's more important to talk about what the goals are. Nine, just to sit there and count. Breathe deeply. Easy eight. Do a few extra or less reps is not going to make a huge difference. Seven control. Not focusing on the form is going to make a difference. Six, make sure you're breathing with me. Inhale, exhale freely. Five, you're doing really well here. Control. Body stays very still. Spine stays very still. Four, eyes and chest facing forward. Nice straight knee up and down. Three, when that leg lowers, try not to let it crash to the floor. Two, the up and down are equally important. Last round. Here we go. So the up is slow and the down is slow. Ten, you're not just dropping a pebble into water, right, and crossing your fingers. Nine, you're controlling that descent. Control the ascent and the descent. Eight, take your time. If it's getting to be too fatiguing, take a break. It's okay. Seven, you may feel this on your top waist here as well. Six, that's okay. Breathe deeply. It's just working to help keeping everything as still as possible. Five. 
Control. Again, make sure you're not pressing your head on the block. Try not to grit your teeth. Four. Relax your toenails. Relax your fingers. Breathing. Three. Inhale and exhale. You did really well. Again, breathe deeply too. Fantastic job. One more time there. Easy breathe. And that was so great. So that was double duty, right? This top leg was going to have a very gentle stretch across your hip and thigh. And that bottom leg was working actively on the inner leg specifically. Now, we're going to do a stretch here. You may need a towel behind your knee if grabbing onto your ankle or foot puts pressure on that knee. You can put putting a towel, a rolled up towel behind that knee to decrease the pressure. If you cannot grab onto that ankle foot, you can put a little uh, yoga strap or whatever, oh sorry, <laughs> yoga strap or whatever you want around the ankle to help if you can't grab onto it with your hand, right? Now, here the goal is to not twist again. You're going to pull the thigh bone back only as far as you don't twist or rock or put pressure with your head on the block. And then, oh, I made a rhyme. I'm bringing it forward. Again, pulling it back gentle. Nine. Easy. Take your time. Again, gliding it back with control. Eight. This top shoulder might move back a bit. That's okay. Head resting. Breathe. Pulling it back with you. Seven. Nice, everyone. Breathe deeply. Pulling it back with you. Six, very good job. It may not go back as far as you wish it would, just take your time and practice more frequently. Pull it back, breathing five. And again, I'm only pulling it back so far as I don't fall or twist four. Right? I can go back further if I want to, but I have to move my spine to do so. Three, and we're focusing on not moving your spine or trying not to, and making as limited range of motion as possible to your pelvis and your spine. Easy, breathe, mm -hmm. pull it back. Now, keep it back there. This knee can make circles on that wall. 10, easy, breathe, gentle, nine, easy, control, eight, breathing, seven, keeping your hips very still, six, as far as you can, breathe deeply, five, nice, everyone, control, four, nice, gentle, three, excellent work, head resting, two, mm -hmm. let's reverse that circle all the way around, breathe deeply, 10, good, everyone. Easy, gentle, nine, head resting, eyes and chest facing forward, eight, fantastic job there, seven, really yummy, breathing, six, glorious, five, great job there, breathing, four, excellent work, head resting, three, eyes and chest facing forward, two, you did really well, one, and then bring it forward, oh, and then gently come out of there. We have a whole other side to look forward to. Isn't that joyous? Now, on this side, you may find that your pillow needs to be a different height. Your block might need to be a different height. That's okay. Honor those things in your body. No one is symmetrical. If you ever saw someone who was symmetrical on the outside in life, they would look like an alien. That's how foreign that concept of symmetry is to our bodies. Now, bottom knee bent forward easier. Two legs straight together harder. Wherever you are, try to have your ankle, knee, hip, rib, shoulder, ear be in one long laser beam line from an aerial view from looking above, looking down. If you can see your feet when you take a peek down, most likely your legs are too far forward. That's what I generally say about that, right? Top hand on the floor is easier to balance. Top hand on you giving you feedback about your pelvis is harder on the balance, but gives you feedback, right? You can always bend that bottom knee forward to make it less intense on the balance. Breathe, top leg lifts, eyes and chest facing forward and lowers. Take your time. Straight knee facing forward the whole day and lower is not good everyone take your time lift kindly and lower eight you're doing really well easy breathe lift and lower seven something to think about there keep moving six if this bottom knee was bent forward and the foot comes to the floor it does feel good across the outside of the hip here it feels too intense five you can take a little block or something under that foot so it doesn't go as low to the floor right if your hip doesn't feel good with your foot reaching down to the floor three Put a little block there as high or as low as you need to to alleviate that sense of tension in your hip, right? Round two, here we go. Breathe deeply. Ten. Eyes and chest facing forward, straight knees facing forward. Nine. Again, you only lift the thigh bone as high as you don't twist the body to do so. Eight. Either thigh, knee rotating up. Seven. Or hip rotating. Breathe deeply. Keeping your body very still. Six is the focus. Great job. Easy breathe. Inhale, exhale freely. Five. Straight knees facing forward. You're doing a great job. Take a break if you need to. Lift and lower gently. Four. You got it. Three more. Take your time. Easy. Gentle. Three. Two more. Eyes and chest facing forward. Two. Take a break if you need to. It's okay. Again, try not to let the leg fall down. Control. Last round. Lift and lower with control. Ten. The leg may not go as high as you wish it would. Nine. Do try to have a sense of your knees facing forward directly. 
Okay? Specifically, again, as you lift it, that knee is going to want to twist. Seven, that's natural. It's not wrong. It's just a different exercise. Six, we're trying to focus on the knee facing forward so that when you're walking, those soft tissue fibers, five, that help your knee face forward are active when you're walking forward to get those knees to go forward as much as you can. Your toes may not face forward. Everyone's different there. Three, there could be a lot of wild variations there. That's fine. But those knees generally should face forward too for most people. Head resting, eyes and chest facing forward, and we're done with that. Right up. And remember, put your foot forward. Again, if the foot comes really close to you, the hip might have to twist back, and that's not the goal because you're not keeping your spine in that facing forward stability place, right? The foot may not be in the same place on this side as it on the other side. You can also, if it won't stay in position, use a little yoga strap here to help keep that foot in position if it's just not staying or just needs some support. You can use your bottom hand or top hand to hold it or both. It doesn't really matter, right? So long as your hip isn't twisting back wherever that leg is. Bottom leg is straight now if it wasn't already. One long line with the whole body and lift that bottom straight knee up facing forward and lower down. And again, this one's tricky as well. That knee's gonna wanna rotate to lift. That's natural nine, but you can feel how your hips wanna do that as well. Just face forward eight and make it a smaller range of motion. Then over time, seven, once you know what the knee facing forward feels like, you can practice a bigger range of motion. Six, now you may be thinking, that's nice, Eric, but I don't have a mirror to look what, I, what, I, what I'm doing. That's correct, five, but most likely you do have a phone or a computer that you can put a mirror image of yourself on the screen and look and see what you're doing as you're doing it. You can put yourself in your own Zoom meeting or whatever you want, you FaceTime yourself, whatever, to see what your joint is doing, too. That could be really helpful and really um, groundbreaking to see, oh, I thought it was doing one thing, but it's doing another. <laughs> Classic. 10, like children, right? Your body parts are like children. You think they're out in the circuit yard playing? They're in the street causing havoc. Nine. Ugh. Classic. Easy breathe. Head resting. Eyes and chest facing forward. Eight. Make sure you're breathing, thinking nice, calm, happy thoughts. Seven. And keeping that straight knee facing forward as it lifts and lowers. Six. Leg is not slamming down to the floor either. Head resting. Easy breathe. Five. You're doing great. Everyone. Control. Lift and lower gently. Four. Excellent job. Just three more here. Control. Breathe deeply. Three. Nice, everyone. Easy, gently, two. Mm -hmm. Easy, gently. We have one more round to go. Eyes and chest facing forward. Good, good. Easy. Take your time. Ten. Lift and lower. Control. Facing forward the whole day there. Nine. Easy, breathe. Gentle. Lift and lower. Eight. Again, this cushion and pillow is really helpful here. Seven. Really helps keep my pelvis and lower back very still. Six. That's a very supportive feeling. Easy, breathe gently. Kindly. Five. Head resting. Eyes and chest facing forward. Four more, please. Easy, four, very good, nice, soft tempo. Breathing, three, inhale, exhale deeply. Two more, please. Gentle, two, mm -hmm. one more to go. Easy, ah, oh, that was so good. Bend two knees forward. Even if your knee doesn't need it on this side, if you put a towel behind your knee on one side, I recommend you do the same thing on the other side, just in terms of symmetry. Same thing for the strap. If you use the strap on one side, you can use the strap on the other side. Right? If you didn't use it, you don't need it again, but you might find that you now need it on this side. So when you repeat this video again, <coughs> yes, repeating the video is ideal. Use the strap on both sides. If you remember, use it on one side, but not the other, use the strap on both sides. Same thing for the towel, right? And again, I'm only gonna pull it back as far as my body stays very still and then return, easy. You may feel this bottom leg put less pressure before you pull back, that's okay, nine, but I'm trying to not let that pelvis twist or hips twist, eight, easy breathe. Pull it back gently. Seven. Good everyone. Head resting. Eyes and chest facing forward. Breathe deeply. Six. Nice. Easy. Gentle. Again, pull it back. Five. And it can come forward. Easy. The shoulder can go back with you. Four. Keeping your body very still. Head resting. Eyes and chest facing forward. Three. Easy. Breathe. Take breaks. No big deal. Pull. Two. Uh-huh. Pull it back. And keep it in that pulled back position and make circles on the wall with that knee. Ten. The arm is going to help you. Nine, easy breathe, head resting. Eight, eyes and chest facing forward. Seven, good work there, breathe deeply. Six, if this gets to be too easy, five, you can always just let go of the hand. Four, with the ankle. Three, you'll feel how much more intense it could be. <laughs> Two, head resting. Reverse that circle, body staying still as a focus. Ten, again, you might feel the top waist here, nine, that's okay, it's just working. Eight, to help keep your body very still. You might not feel it at all, it's okay. Seven, I don't like to tell people where they feel things, because I prefer they think about where they're feeling it for themselves. Because if I say, five, you should feel it here and you don't feel it here, you might have feelings about the fact that you're not feeling it where I said you should feel it. Three, so just because someone tells you where you should feel things doesn't mean that's where you should actually feel it. Where you're feeling it is the most important thing first and foremost, and maybe where the goal is, is secondary, definitely. All right, release that and come out of there. And finito bonito, really good job. It's a nice strengthening sequence that you did, covering a lot of bases in a kind of short amount of time. 
and it may feel like we're using a lot of props, but that is really helpful to support our spine to help give tactile feedback so that it can stay as still as possible, especially with conditions like osteopenia and osteoporosis and a couple other spinal conditions, uh, degenerative disc disease. Keeping your spine very still while moving your appendages is really, really great for your long-term health and well-being. My name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to getting stronger with you in the future. Yours in good health. Take care.